got double eyelid surgery four days ago and I want to share my experience in case anybody else wants to come to Korea to get it done. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the procedure because I didn't just get double eyelid surgery, I also got two other kind of smaller um, procedures along with it. The first one is a fat grafting, so they had harvested fat, just a little bit like 0.3 grams of fat from my thigh to put into my eyelids because my eyelids were a little bit more hollow and they said that it would even things out and balance out the eyelids more if they were more filled in. Um, I, and I tend to think that things are gimmicky but I did see their reasoning for it so I did agree to that. And then the second uh, supplemental procedure was ptosis correction so that is just to kind of alter the muscle so that your eye can open more easily after your procedure. I think that this is um, kind of standard when it comes to getting general double eyelid surgery. The second thing I wanted to talk about was the clinic selection. So I did go to Luho Plastic Surgery in Gangnam and this was a recommendation. I have a friend who is from Korea so she was asking her friends who have also had double eyelid surgery and a few of them had recommended Luho for their pricing and um, their quality. So I selected that. They are not English friendly, I will say. The surgeon does speak uh, some English, but it's quite limited. They do have a Chinese translator on site if you speak Chinese, but I was really lucky to have my friend's mom come with me to translate the entire process. So um, I would definitely hire a translator just to make sure that nothing gets lost in the weeds because uh, I mean, you are getting cosmetic surgery, so you don't want to let any issues happen. Now let's talk about my experience. My Appointment was at 12:30 on Wednesday. I had arrived and my friend's mom met me there The first thing that they had me do was just kind of go over their um, Procedure instructions and things like that um, And then afterwards I went into this little room to get changed into my orange outfit um, ushered into the uh, surgeon's office afterwards just because I had done an online consultation and sent pictures over but pictures can only do so much So I had talked to the surgeon and we had talked about what shape I wanted. I had initially been interested in a parallel um, Double eyelid crease instead of a tapered because I had already had a tapered and I, I thought that parallel might be flattering But the doctor recommended that I keep the tapered because a parallel would um, actually mean that I have to do like this whole like facelift it's really funny because the doctor also said that my eyes were okay and he would actually recommend a nose job instead. So I guess I'll keep that in my back pocket. Then I was ushered into the operating room and it is, I had never gotten a surgery like that before. So seeing the giant operating lights was, I was like, oh my God, I'm in Grey's Anatomy right now. Um, but they just covered my, um, my whole body and uh, just expose like my leg and my face where I would have the surgical sites. Um, and then they had just put the IV in me to put me under general anesthesia for about five minutes while they had uh, grafted my fat. And then after that, I would be awake, but just under local anesthesia for the double eyelid surgery, which I don't know if that's a standard practice, but like I did not find that pleasant at all. So halfway through my surgery. I just like really, really didn't like feeling the pressure on my eye um, whatsoever. Like I'd rather just be knocked out and wake up, but they had said that I should be awake because in case they need me to like blink or something. But halfway through, after he finished one eye, I was like, please, please put me to sleep. And they, they did. Um, they were like, push the ketamine. And I was like, whoa. Um, but yeah, so, so then after that, uh, it was totally fine. After the procedure, it was about an hour or so, they put me into this kind of like resting area for maybe half an hour and I was feeling just like super groggy and a little bit nauseous, but they gave me some water and things like that. Um, after that, they just had gone over the details in the aftercare. I have to put this ointment on uh, about a week or so, twice a day and like cotton swabs and painkillers, but I haven't really been taking them because uh, the pain is actually quite minimal. I would say the overall pain level is like super minimal like maybe a one at the most i think right now the the stitches are healing and everything so i do feel a little stinging here and there but it's it's really quite painless let's just go over the pricing for the double eyelid surgery itself it was about a thousand dollars usd and then for the fat grafting it was about another three hundred dollars to do that 
and the Pitosis Correction Supplemental was like one to 200. So in total, I spent about $1,500, which is I think a great deal because I was getting quotes in the US, like in SoCal for like $6,000 just for double eyelid surgery. Um, the landing price was at 1500 initially it would be at 3000 but because I agreed to have them kind of share my pictures and uh, post, post a review, they had cut the price in half. In terms of communication, I was also really lucky to have a friend's cousin uh, who lives in Korea kind of communicate on Kakao with the clinic um, for me. So we had done the online consultation and just like asked a bunch of questions and things like that um, just to, to get myself prepped up. And this was about two weeks before the surgery. I had kind of decided, like finally decided really last minute. But yeah, if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I am getting my stitches out in a few days, so, and I will say, like, the bruising is not that bad. This eye is definitely less swollen than this eye at this point, um, but the bruising has gone down quite a bit. Overall, not too bad, but let me know if you have any questions.